Now you could bring specialised hiking food with you into the woods. But specialised hiking food is very expensive, even the dehydrated pre-prepared stuff retails at about four quid a throw. You could also bring army ration packs, but they're about 10, 12 quid each, and they weigh a, a kilo and a half each per go. So what I prefer, prefer to do is scavenge the shelves of my supermarkets, and there's pretty much something from every supermarket here, and see if I can find alternatives. So we're going to go over these one at a time and go over the pros and cons. So first up, and one of my personal favourites, is this kind of meal. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush, it's only available at Morrison's as far as I can tell, although if you find it anywhere else, you know, drop me a line, let me know. It's, um, they do two varieties, this is the bacon and onion brunch, which is bacon, onion and potatoes, and there's another variety, the bacon, egg and potatoes version, but this one I actually prefer, although I thought I would like the egg one more. But. So uh, what's inside, if anybody's familiar with army ration packs, is a kind of boil in the bag silver pouch with all your food in it now you can either tip everything out and it does tip out rather more easily than other varieties um, or you can boil it in the bag and heat it up that way they're very very good they're about £1.50, £1.60 a go well worth investigating next up we have ready cooked rice um, this is very expensive, usually, con compared to ordinary um, rice you have to cook yourself. And you can cook it yourself, it does take a lot of boiling, or alternatively, you can leave dried rice in um, two to three times its volume of water overnight, and it will do most of the cooking for you. So if you know you're going to want rice the next day, and you know you're going to be in situ the next day, that's for something for to try for very, very cheap, easy-to-cook rice. But this stuff was about 50p um, in a local Tesco's, very good price it's on special when it's on special offer so that's worth having and adding things too so if you've got some kind of meat that you can add to it that's a good idea or if you've got some um, soya chunks or soya mints that's another thing and, and some other flavoring whatever you want to add to it you could even add some bouillon or some um, stock cubes or something like that to give it a different flavor but it's well worth having really easy to cook like it takes a couple of minutes so if you need something to be able to cook really really quickly that's something to bear in mind Finally, in the uh, pre-prepared meals to bring camping with you if you don't want to cook from scratch, are noodles. Noodles are ubiquitous. Everybody in the world eats them. They're very, very cheap. They cook in a couple of minutes. You can even boil water, tip the noodles in, and leave them alone for a few minutes, and they'll be ready cooked. They usually come with a sachet of stuff. I really don't need to go into it. Although I would say it's always nice to add something to noodles rather than just have noodles. So if you've got some beef jerky or you've got some canned fish or canned meat, it's a good thing to add. Um, it will bulk out other things if you need to make a bigger meal. Um, in some cases where you're needing to feed two people and you're running low on food, adding noodles to almost anything makes it go further. Um, now this is something that you only find in very weird little supermarkets where there's only a couple in the chain. This is um, fish in a can. You can get you know, canned fish all over the place. It opens up, it's on a ring pull. You can generally use the can for something useful if you want an ashtray or you want to you know, put sort of like hot embers in something or anything like that where a tin, you know, an open tin tray would be a good idea. Um, but canned food, it's usually, canned fish is usually pretty cheap unless you're going to go for tuna. This is um, herring in a chilli sauce. It was only about 40p from a little supermarket, but it's not part of a major chain. So if you find sort of like, you know, good quality canned fish, I mean, you could even add that to the ready-cooked rice and you've got a good meal. Um, the canned fish is something that you'd add to something else um, and cook in to, say, rice or noodles or anything like that. So that's well worth having. And the ever popular pasta and sauce. Easy to cook, relatively cheap, just goes in, and more importantly, it doesn't weigh very much like the noodles. Unlike the other pre cooked foods, they've got a lot of water, and you're lugging that water around wherever you go. So, you know, well worth doing, interesting thing to make, um, and a good meal at the end of the day. As far as getting a cup of coffee together, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I've been known to make filter coffee while I'm out here, which is really luxurious and tastes great. But other times I'll just go for coffee in a sachet. Now you can either buy pre-made sachets, they're usually quite expensive, so if you can get them cheap, get a load in. I usually bring you know, six or seven 
sachets per 24 hours that I'm out here just in case I want a cup of coffee because a warming drink is a really good idea um, if you if you want to save yourself a lot of money you can put together little bags of coffee just put a teaspoon of coffee you know whatever sugar and whatever whitener you add in tie it up in a little tiny um, plastic bag and you've got an instant coffee that you can just pour into a cup and pour boiling water on it's all you know that that's an equally a good idea but yeah you know bring something that you like to drink especially a hot drink if you want to bring um, some sort of squash just bring a small like a, get a very tiny bottle of you know a little plastic bottle and fill that with like double concentrate squash and use that but you know bring along things to drink other than water if that's what you're into you know but I'm a real coffee fiend so I've always got coffee always always bring along something you like to nibble on you know sometimes in the morning you want to just get up and have a cup of coffee and you can't really be bothered to cook you can't really be bothered to build a fire or you know set up your stove it's always good to have something to eat first thing in the morning lifts your spirits amazingly and then at night if you get hungry you've got something you can instantly eat don't necessarily need to be something sweet or something with chocolate on it my personal preference i always like i've always had a sweet tooth it could be something savory that you like to eat or a nut bar or something like that but always always bring something to nibble on is fantastically important so you can go for muesli bars like here or the fruit bar in the middle or some kind of chocolate bar but it's always important to have something that gives you a good burst of energy really quickly because sometimes you know you don't want to do lunch or breakfast or you have dinner early because it's got dark and then you're hungry later on it's always a good idea have a few things that you can nibble on in your pack somewhere it doesn't weigh very much and you'll be really glad that you did I would say that you can definitely take fresh food with you. You can certainly transport eggs if you cut down an egg carton. You can take bacon and roast it over a stick and stuff like that. You can do all sorts of things with food. It's not, you know, don't limit yourself to the sort of things that I do. Don't limit yourself um, to anything that you feel like cooking on a campfire. But the things that I've shown you in this episode are more like the sort of stuff that you can definitely always take and you can leave in your pack till the next time you go. So that's why I'm a bigger fan of food that's, you know, in some kind of packaging that will keep it dry. And that's really important because you can never really assume that what you're going to have is going to be dry. You know, you can never assume on the weather and you can never assume what sort of environment you have. So sealed food is what I've been showing you and stuff that's not going to get immediately wet. And uh, the only other thing I'd add is please, please, please take all your rubbish with you. If it can't be burnt on your campfire, try and sort of like have a little plastic rubbish bag to take with you so that you can pack all your rubbish and you can leave the woodland as pristine as you found it. Mm -hmm.